Hey yogis, I'm Lang. Welcome to class. The name of our practice today is Block Party because if you got some blocks to use, two blocks for class, one would be fine too. There'll be lots of opportunities to use them. The class is also 100% fabulous and fantastic without any blocks at all. And if as you go, you're using blocks and you're like, meh, I'm not feeling it for some of the things because we'll be able to use them in our vinyasas or down dogs and a variety of other poses, um, you know, feel free to not use the blocks, you'll get the same benefits. They're just a helpful thing to have a little fun and also to uh, help our body memorize some really good alignment principles. So as we get uh, started, so go ahead and grab blocks if you wanna try it out and put them by the side of your mat and then we'll get started in child's pose. So just kind of find a variation, could be big toes to the other knees wide or more hip distance or more legs together. There's no right, no wrong, just kind of Melt your way into your mat using the feel of your body on the mat, on the floor to help those places loosen, relax and release with that feeling of serene, sweet surrender spread throughout the body. As you start to breathe slowly, smoothly, expansively. Just a thought to invite us to bring some meaning to our movement today. One of the great gifts of yoga is it helps us to step into the place of witness wherein we realize that we have thoughts, but we are not our thoughts. We have emotions, but we are not emotions. We have sensations, but we are not our sensations. We are the witness of those. And from the place of witnessing, we can also, in a sense, be a gardener. So as we witness the things going on inside of us, we can start to nourish the things that we want to flourish, that we want to grow, that we want to expand. And we can trim and pull the weeds and such that we would like to, you know, not do as much of, not think as much of, you know, the inner critic, the inner judge, the inner warrior, you know, those things have some place and some validity, but often they get a little too much room in the garden, if you will, the gardens of our mind. So as we practice today, let that be an intention. Starting with an ohm, let the breath go, feel the, re the shoulders relax. Draw a breath in for sound. Uh... Gently make your way up through hands and knees as you let the light back in. And we'll make our way to a cross-legged Sukhasana easy seat. So we're gonna start to wake the body up. So if you uh, got a block, you'll put it between your hands. If you don't use a block, you'll interlace the fingers. And so then either way, we'll take three circles around the head halos, using the inhale and the exhale to complete the circle and add any movement to the head, neck, shoulders, and upper body that feels fabulous. So let's get going. Take about three this direction. Kind of using this time to get the kinks out. Fabulous. And then three circles the other direction. Another reason this class is named Block Party is because block parties are the bomb. They're super fun. In the summer season especially. And then three circles. And in a sense, you know, as we make our way onto our back with block or without, yoga is about the block party of humanity and that we all are connected. We're all one family. And so it's kind of coming into that awareness. So as you bring your knees to the sky, having a bridge stance with your feet on the ground, you can squeeze a block between the thighs, feet or hip distance apart. Without a block, you just want the engagement of your thighs is if they're squeezing a block between the arms. Robot your arms and jazz your hands. As you inhale, press into the heel set, elevate the pelvis towards the chin, arc the heart towards the chin as you lift the hips. 
Exhale, lower the bum to hover. Let's do four more. Inhale again, feel that hug to the midline through the thighs as you rise up to the stars through the hips. Exhale, lower to hover. Last three, breathe in, rise up. Breathe out, lower with control. Inhale for two. Exhale. Breathe in for one. And gently lower down. We'll do one more thing seated here at the beginning of class and one more thing on our back. So make your way to a seat again. So for this one, it'll be a side body stretch. I'll mirror you. We'll go to the right first. So you can interlace fingers and stretch to one side. It'll be the inhale to the side and the exhale through center. Or you can flare the fingers and use the block. So relax the shoulders either way. Take an exhale to get started. Inhale, lengthen from left sit bone through both hands to the right. Exhale, come through center. Stretch the opposite side. You breathe in, breathe out, keep going. Inhale for eight. Exhale. Breathe in, lengthen for seven. Breathe out. Inhale for six. Exhale. Like a flower dancing in the wind for five. Breathe out. Go for four. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one this side. Inhale. Exhale. Last one this side. Awesome. All right. So let's make our way to our back one more time. We're going to get our body a little fired up, a little core work, because who doesn't love core? <laughs> so little small movements that will get us activated in. Awesome. So if you want the block, bite it between the thighs. Try and bring the big toes to touch as you squeeze the, um, the block, or you have the thighs together and big toes to touch. And light up through the toes. And release fingers behind the head, not to bear weight, but to support the neck. Start with the knees at 90 degrees, and that is awesome to stay there. If it feels fabulous to straighten through the legs, then feel free to do that. So we're going to do five times. It's four movements. We inhale, lift the tail just an inch as you squeeze the thighs, flare the toes. Lower the tail as you exhale, lift the shoulders an inch, no weight in the hands. Inhale, lift through both and brighten everything into the midline. Exhale slowly with control, both back down. That's one. Inhale, tail, face relaxed, toes alive. Exhale, shoulders, no weight in the arms. Inhale, lift through both and squeeze. Exhale, both back down. Notice where the mind goes during this. Three more. Inhale, tail, squeeze the block. Exhale, shoulders, faces smiling. Inhale, lift and brighten. Exhale, both back down. More than halfway. Woohoo! Inhale, tail, squeeze, light up. Exhale, shoulders. Inhale, lift through both. Exhale, both back down. Fantastic. Last one. Inhale, tail. Exhale, shoulders. Inhale, lift through both and squeeze in for five, four. You've got this. Three, two, one. Relax it down. Let it go. Free the block if you had it. Bring the knees into the chest either way. Give yourself a big old hug and squeeze. Use it to release the backside. Inside out. And then make your way up to stand for this part. I'll have you face me. So we'll take a nice wide horse stance. So if that's straddling your mat, fabulous. But heels in, toes out, just kind of sway into the body. We got a little activated, hopefully not too agitated. Now we'll get a little watery, a little fluid. So brighten the fingers as you inhale straighten through the legs float the palms wide as you breathe light into your day exhale as you sink into the hips coffee press the palms down through center with a grounding your chi your energy two more inhale expand exhale settle one more breath in one more as you come back up, straighten through the legs, but float the hands wide a little, a little lower than shoulder distance. Press into all four corners of the feet. Press the hands back to collide the shoulder blades and light up through the chest. Take a breath in as if you're nourishing 
the light, the bright, the love inside of you. Take a breath out to feel it, to enjoy it, and then let it go, release it. All right, we're going to flow the opposite way. As you sink into the hips, the hands are going to come through center with palms up as if you're scooping up blessings. Bring the hands to center on the inhale. And as you're letting go, stressings, palms down, shoulders loose as you exhale. Two more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, a feeling of abundance. Exhale, a mindset of scarcity. Come back up. We're going to do that. Arms wide open, heart wide open, pose again one more time after this but feel your heart leaping for joy in your chest take a big breath in to increase that feeling and enjoy it for a breath out all right bend into the knees bring the hands to the knees one of my favorite little stretches i'll marry you we'll start with the right shoulder on the inhale lengthen the hips down and the head up as you exhale use the right hand to draw the right knee toward right uh shoulder towards the left knee to get in there Inhale through center, a little groin and shoulder opener. Opposite side, exhale, ring it out. Breathe in through center as if you're ringing out. Inhale through center, you know, the things of life, right? The stuff, exhale. Ooh, good crack. Breathe in through center, breathe out. Inhale, we'll be halfway after this, exhale. Might feel good to switch the grip of the hands to get a little stretch in the forearms. Exhale. Breathe in through center. Breathe out for five. Inhale. Exhale, four. Breathe in. Breathe out, three. Inhale. Exhale, two. Breathe in. Breathe out, one. As promised, one more time in the sequence, we straighten through the legs, we sparkle through the fingers, we shine through the heart. You are a star. Breathe in that. Born to shine. Breathe out it. Bring the hands to the heart. Just pause to feel for a second. Awesomeness. And then let's step to the top of our mat. So if you got the blocks, you're going to put them shoulder distance apart at the top of the mat. I like the medium setting. You can uh, might prefer something else. You can play with it. But the least, we'll be able to use them for vinyasas and down dogs. Again, you could try it out. You could not do it at all. You could skip it if you don't like it. So your practice, your choice. As you inhale, drive the hips forward. Lift the heart. Circle, heart, circle seat the hands up to the stars. Exhale, slow motion. Carve a path down to the earth. Forward fold halfway lift maybe use the blocks to get more length in the spine as you breathe in exhale step back to plank pose again option to use the blocks inhale rock the weight forward to bring more weight into the fingertips then into the base of the palm the wrists exhale lower down elbows on the ribs shoulders no lower in the elbows inhale open your heart upper arms drag back because if you're using the blocks keep the toes tucked Cobra up dog. Exhale, press the hips high. Downward, loving dog. We're going to warrior one. Press left heel down as you breathe the right toes up. Draw the right knee in, and I'm going to place my right foot outside my block. And then take a little bit of a shorter stance with the left foot as I put it at a 45 or so degree angle. And then rise up in a warrior one. Feel a grounding through the feet as the left hip rolls forward and the right hip tracks back. And then we're going to revisit that same pose, arms wide open, like you're a superhero, like you're flash, like a laser bolt of love. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Press in the left heel to open through the heart. And light up through the fingers, clyde the shoulder blades to open the heart. One more breath in. One more breath out. Hands to the hips, self-adjustment. Press into the right heel as you slide the right sit bone towards the left heel. Keep that. Lengthen from left heel through the crown as you start to lean over the right leg. Just keep leaning and lengthening until you get to a place that's a good stretch on the underside of the right leg, pyramid pose. And then breathe into the stretch. Three breaths. Exhale to get started. Inhale, length. Exhale, tightness. 
Two more, breathe in. Breathe out. One more, inhale. One more, exhale. Bend the knee a bit just to release some pressure. Bring left hand down. I'm gonna bring it to a block. You can bring it to the ground. Lift the left heel. Lengthen from left heel through the crown. Keeping that, then brighten from left fingers to right. As you reach the right hand up to the stars, a little revolved triangle variation I love. Really slide the right hip back down in to get a nice side body stretch. Three breaths here. Exhale to start. Inhale, brighten across the chest. Exhale, lighten in the face. Two more. Inhale, press the feet away from each other. Exhale, relax the shoulder. One more breath in. One more breath out. Reland the left foot at a 45 or so degree angle. Bring the hands to the hips again and line the hips up with the arch of the left foot like you're a vine growing out of the left foot. So you're going out at a 45 or so degree angle through the crown of the head to like 130 or so on the mat. Keeping that length and lift up, up and away. Then open across the chest for a variation of triangle pose that I call triangle because you're at an angle. Very creative, right? Three breaths. Inhale, open, press the feet away from each other. Exhale, smile. Two more, breathe in, breathe out. One more, inhale. One more, exhale. Swoop the hands down, claw the mat or the blocks of the fingertips, plank pose as you breathe into your power on your breath. In, lowering with ease and grace, chaturanga as you breathe out. Art open as you inhale, cobra up dog, up dog with toes tucked. And exhale, press it on back, downward loving dog. Same thing, other side. Press right heel down as you flip the left toes up on the breath. Draw the left knee in and help her step the left foot. Again, I'm placing it outside the block. And then the right foot comes a little bit in and wider because that is loving to my low back. So find what's loving to you as you track the right hip forward, left hip back, calming, grounding through the feet, jazz hands, and then collide the shoulder blades to shine through the heart like a superhero, like you've got a super symbol of love beaming out of your chest. Exhale to get started. Breathe it in, breathe it out. Two more, inhale, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Fantastic, hands to the hips. Start to press into the left foot away from you to slide the left sit bone towards the right heel. Elongate from heel through crown as you lean over the ledge of the left leg until you get a good stretch. And then breathe into the stretch in your pyramid pose. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe peace behind your eyes. Side stress out the mouth. One more breath in. One more breath out. Bend the knee a little bit. Bring the right hand down, maybe on the block as you lift the right heel. Drive from the right heel like you're pressing into the wall as you lengthen through the crown. Straighten through the left leg and then blossom the left hand up to the heavens. Exhale. Inhale. Open in all directions. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. One more exhale. Bring the right foot back down at an angle. And then again, hands to the hips, line the hips up with the arch of the right foot, and then grow uh, to 1030 or so on the mat, up, up, and away through the crown. And then open across the chest, exhale. Inhale, press the feet away from each other to open further in all directions. Breathe out, let go of tension in jaw and shoulders. Two more, inhale. Exhale. One more breath in. One more breath out. Rebend the left knee, revisit one last time. The arms wide open, going back in the heart, jumping forward, one big breath in of celebration. And then exhale, step to the top of the mat. Fantastic, hands to the heart. Whew. All right. Now we're gonna start with a chair pose. So if you're using the block, 
you'll put one between the thighs, squeeze it, and then one between the hands. So in this, with a block or without the block, there's a magnetism of the thighs towards each other. So they're not just squeezing towards each other, they're squeezing towards each other and back. So there's a rotation to the movement. There's a circularity to it. And then same thing with the, the arms, there's a spiral. So they're squeezing towards each other, but they're squeezing in and like towards the face like it's a corkscrewing towards the face right okay so we block or no block we keep that alignment as best we can chair poses are fierce pose or power pose i believe our superpower our fierce power is love so as andrea markham says bend the knees sit deep reach high exhale inhale hips down heart up exhale hug into the midline rotate circularly <laughs> two more breathe in breathe out one more inhale one more exhale Whew, nice little heat building there take your time make your way out if you're using the blocks again bring them to shoulder distance part let's meet in a brain draining for fold on the exhale Spine lengthening, halfway lift as we breathe in. And big step of the right foot back. Keep the toes tucked as you bring the knee down with little weight in the knee. So you get a nice quad stretch in the right quad. Bring the hands to the left thigh. From the right heel, pop the heart open in the hands too. Feel it out. This is, is equally as beneficial as another option. Maybe you hang here. Maybe you cartwheel the left hand back towards the back of the right knee and the right hand up and over for a reverse lunge variation of Anjani Asana. Wherever you are, relax the face and feel the energy of the sky filling you with its amazingness. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. One more inhale. One more exhale. Cartwheel the hands down. Plank pose as you breathe in. Chaturanga as you breathe out. Heart open as you shine on the inhale. Hips high, heels low, down dog as you exhale. One more time, warrior one on each side. Breathe the right toes up. Draw the right knee in and place your foot in the place that's loving for you. Left foot at a 45. Take a block with you if you wish this time for our warrior one. So without block, again, interlacing of the fingers, and you'll bring them behind the head with the fingers interlaced, right thumb on the bottom. With the block, you just squeeze the block and place the block behind the head. Press in the left foot to start to pump the heart up. Press in the right foot to slide the right sit bone back. And then lean into your hands and feel amidst the effort that you're relaxing and love your love. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. One more exhale. Cultivating a good story. Raise the hands overhead in our heads like a wahoo, wahoo. And then exhale, set to the top of the mat. Fantastic. All right, you'll see me switch sides, but you don't have to change a thing. It's just more so I'm facing you than away from you. So one more time in chair pose. So if you got the blocks, one between the thighs, squeeze circularly, rotisserie fashion. One block between the hands, same thing, circular rotisserie rotation movement. And then we sit deep, reach high as we breathe out. Inhale into your power, your purpose, your love. Exhale, relax the face and the eyes. Two more, breathe in, squeeze into the midline. Breathe out, fantastic, looking good. One more, you got this, inhale. Exhale. All right, let's make our way out. Block shoulder distance if you want. Meeting in a heavy head in a forward fold. Go, go, gadget style, elongate the head forward halfway as you breathe in, halfway lift. Big step of the left foot back, same, same. Toe stay tucked and active and little weight in the knee so you get the quad stretch. 
and perhaps uh, like uh, <laughs> you fall out like me. All right, so <laughs> like, okay, so part pops open from the left heel, hands on the thighs, lovely. If it feels fabulous in the body, just cart with the left hand back, left hand up and over, awesome. As you relax the face, feel the star speaking to you about the secrets of creation. Three breaths, inhale, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Cartwheel the hands down, plank pose as you breathe in, knowing you can skip vinyasas if you're worn out. Exhale, chaturanga. It's your practice, inhale, you get to decide. And we meet in down dog, exhale. You have voice and choice. Last warrior one, bring the left toes high as you breathe in. Draw the left knee in as you place the foot as you breathe out. Option to take the block with you this time again. So interlace fingers, left thumb on the bottom if, without the block or block between the hands, block behind the head. Start to press into the right foot to open your heart and then lean into the block slash hands to open even further. Close or soften the eyes. Breathe in, peace and calm. Breathe out, chaos and struggle. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in. One more breath out. Again, nourishing the good inside. Raise the hands overhead as a symbol of that as you inhale. Woo, woo, woo. And exhale. Set to the top of the mat, fantastic. All right. So now we got, we're back to our blocks being shoulder distance apart to start with. Meet standing. We're gonna move into standing pigeon twice on each side with all sorts of options. So bring the weight into the left foot. Cross the right foot over, activate the toes. Broaden the bum back. Open the heart forward. You can use the blocks to kind of help with that for sure. And then as you breathe into your lovely hip, just notice that you can, if this is not feeling great to you, you can have the same benefits by taking the pose on your bum with hands behind you and drawing your heart towards your shin. And the same benefits on your back, interlacing fingers behind the thigh. So either way, you've got that number four shape and you're getting the same benefits. It's just your relationship to gravity changes the uh, challenging aspect of the pose, if you will. So wherever you are, let's just take uh, two more breaths. Breathe out to start. Inhale, fill up your hip with love, with life. Exhale, let go of some hurts. One more breath in. One more breath out. Inhale, release the right foot and swing it back far. Exhale, land the toes, keep them tucked, bring the knee down. Walk the hands over to the left and then roll the left thigh open with energy in the toes as you lean the hips towards the left heel. Lean the upper body away and reach the left hand back, feel it out. That could be your jam. Maybe you lift the right foot, getting a little hip and quad and shoulder. Maybe you get the right foot in the left hand and you use the push pull to get a little more juice in the stretch either way lift your heart lift your gaze feel heaven pouring into your soul four breaths breathe out maybe close the eyes inhale exhale breathing in the book the good clearing out the other Breathe in for two, breathe out, inhale for one, exhale, make your way out, take your time, meeting in plank as you breathe in, chaturanga as you breathe out, heart shining as you inhale, and we all meet at the Downward Dog Hotel as we exhale. Moving to Warrior Two this time with the option for a block. Brighten the right toes up as you inhale. 
curve the knee to the nose and quietly bring the foot into the face. Left heel spins down as you exhale. Swim the left hand up, cartwheel fashion, maybe with a block or without. So same thing as earlier. Interlace the fingers, right thumb on top. If you've got no block and flip the palms towards the sky or bring a block overhead. So we're gonna move slow. We're gonna, in a sense, embody matching our rhythm of life up with the rhythm of the universe, which moves slow and in tune with love, right? So as we exhale, relax the shoulders, hands above head. As you inhale, lengthen back to your own degree from foot through fingers. As you exhale, move slow through center. As you inhale, lengthen, stretch slowly like a sloth forward. Exhale slowly through center. Breathe into the back. Breathe out through the middle. Inhale, calm. Exhale. One more to the back. Move slow and sweet. Breathe out. One more to the front. Exhale. Bring your blocker hands down as you breathe out. And then inhale again, cultivating the good. Raise your hands with your block overhead. Yeah. And then exhale to the top of the mat. Fabulous. All right. Same fun, other direction. So wait this time into the right foot. Setting up for standing pigeon. Left foot has energy toes towards the shin as you cross and make a number four shape over the right thigh. Hips broaden back, heart lengthens forward. Face relaxes, gaze is soft and steady. Breath is mindful and expansive. And again, you have the options to be on your bum or your back. And again, let's take about two more breaths. Exhale. Breathe spaciousness into what's tight. Exhale. Let something go. One more breath in. One more clearing. Bring the hands down. Sweep the left foot back and away. Land the toes. Keep them tucked and active. Land the knee. Walk the hands over to the left. And then roll the right thigh open as you activate the toes and lean the hips that way. Lean the upper body the opposite way. Reach the right hand back. Feel it out. Maybe you lift the foot. Maybe you get the foot. And again, once we get set up, we have our hearts rising, our gaze rising. So feel for four breaths like you're breathing in, moving to a higher state of awareness, of consciousness, a bigger place of love. Exhale. Four breaths. Breathe in like you're floating, like you're flying. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale, breathe in for two, breathe out, inhale for one, exhale, fabulous, we'll make your way out, plank pose as you breathe in, clawing with your fingertips, exhale, lowering with ease and grace, chaturanga, inhale, heart shining and smiling, and exhale, belly button drags us back, down dog. Brighten the left toes up as you inhale. Curve the nose toward, or the knee towards the nose as you exhale. Spin the right heel down. Take a block up with you if you want to warrior two. And again, interlace fingers, left thumb on the front and the palms up if you're using no block or the block overhead. So relax the shoulders as you exhale. And again, moving slow, we do a lot super fast, but just feel the calm that comes with moving slow as you lean back. Exhale slowly if you center. Sometimes it can be a struggle too, but once we get the hang of it, inhale, lengthen forward, it becomes such a gift and a blessing. Exhale through center. Breathe in, lengthen to the back. Breathe out, slowly move through center. Inhale, stretch to the front. Breathe out through center. Inhale, slow and smooth, last to the back. Exhale, nothing to do, no rush. Inhale, stretch to the front. Exhale, come through center, bring the hands down. Inhale, embody joy. 
Exhale, we make our way to the top of the mat. Fantastic. All right. We've got one more standing pigeon, or again, you have all the options and permission to do otherwise. And then with some options, perhaps if the body says yes, you know, do our best to listen to our body. So wait into the left foot, right foot comes over, activate the toes, bum back, heart forward. Perhaps you use shins on the, fore, on the uh, shins, you use your triceps, your, not your triceps, your forearms on the, the shin to get a little more juice in the stretch. Perhaps you use your fingertips on the ground to get a little more juice in the stretch. Perhaps you land the whole hands on the ground, clawing them out with the fingertips, biceps forward, triceps back. Perhaps you drive the shin into the shelf of the forearms, clamp the right foot of the triceps. Clamp the right foot, lean forward until you trust the weight in the fingertips, and then smile with the left toes and maybe the left foot can fly for a flying pigeon. Last three breaths, inhale. Exhale, the fingertips are our speed brakes. Two more, breathe in. And smiling always helps, breathe out. One more inhale, one more exhale, and you get the same benefits regardless. Let's meet in a rag doll, so both feet down. Opposite hand, opposite elbow. I like to bend the knees and kind of rock it out from side to side. Two more breaths. Next inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale, step the right foot back for a runner stretch. You can use the blocks for this. And then there's no right or wrong in this runner stretch. Just move. Again, get the kinks out. Move it any way that feels great. Your body knows what it would like. Just take three breaths to move and groove. All right, we're going to side plank on the right side, and you can use the block if you want under the right hand as you line the uh, knife edge of the right foot up with the right hand and step the left foot back. You can have two feet down, feet stacked, feet floating. You can do funky things. It's all about activating, smiling with fingers and toes. Three breaths, inhale, exhale. Press right hand and foot away from each other to get more hang time. Breathe out, one more inhale, one more exhale. Maybe plank as you breathe in, chaturanga as you breathe out. Open your heart, shine your light, and then exhale. We press back down, dogs. Have a clearing breath, take a big breath in, and sigh something out. Brighten the right toes up. Go into warrior two again, but no block this time. Exhale, draw the knee in. Make your way up into warrior two. So, got the fun flow. It's all about an embodiment, painting a picture of bliss with their fingers and her movements and stuff. Four poses. It's called Dogtown and Z-Boys Flow from my yoga family, Blissology. Um, and so, we'll go slow. I'll talk you through the breath as we go. And then we'll go one breath, one movement, three times, just having fun and you know, getting our groove on, getting our bliss on. So well, the fingers, exhale to get started. Pose one as we paint a picture of bliss with our fingers as we spin up and back to a peaceful warrior. So feel a lift from left heel through the right armpit. There's no right or wrong with how you arrange your hands. Pose two comes on the exhale. We straighten through the right leg, sparkle through the toes, the toes lift. We bend into the left knee and sink down to our own degree. I'm fairly high. You might be lower. You might be higher. It's called mute katasana. All right. And so identify the left hand. It's in charge. Wing it back. And on the inhale, it wings around and guides us forward as we stay high and extended side angle. Or if it feels fabulous, right hand, you can find a block or the ground outside the right foot. You can lift left heel. And then from the left heel, find a curve through the upper body, a little cheerful curve for celebration. It's called layback lunge. That's three. Last pose, left hand is in charge. Left heel comes down. If it lifted, it circles down, back, straighten through the right leg, open across the chest on the exhale, triangle pose. That's pose four. All right, so shake it off, let it go. Let's make our way up. <sighs> There's no right nor wrong. There's just being here and having fun, being you, because you 
are amazing. Let's exhale before we start. Three times just non-stop bliss machine. Inhale through Peaceful Warrior. Exhale, right leg straight, bend in the left knee, Mukatasana. Left hand guides us as we inhale to stay high, extended side angle, or go low and C for lay back lunge. And then the exhale, left hand circles us into triangle pose. Keep flowing. Inhale, Peaceful Warrior. Exhale, bliss in your hands, Mukatasana. Inhale with joy and delight, side angle or lay it back. Exhale, triangle pose. Last one, inhale, peaceful. Exhale, Mukatasana, amazing. Inhale, open your heart, lay it back or side angle. Exhale, triangle pose. Paint a picture of a happy warrior as you breathe in. No worrying, exhale. To the top of the mat, awesome. Okay, same fun, other side. So starting with our standing pigeon, or otherwise, again, honoring where and how you are, loving ourselves as we are not as we think we should be. Weight into the right foot, left foot over, broaden bum back, open heart forward. Again, maybe the forearms, I got it right this time, can press into the shin to get a little more traction. Maybe the fingertips can come to the ground and help with that traction. Hips back, heart forward. Can help to maybe hike the foot up a little bit. Maybe you land the hands. Grip, claw with fingertips, biceps forward, triceps back. Drive the shin into the shelf of the triceps. Clamp the left foot. Lean with a humble chin until you bring the weight into the fingertips. Maybe you lift the right foot. Energize with like strings are on it. Maybe it flies away. Whew. Last two breaths, inhale, exhale. Breathe in a good story. Breathe out judgments and criticisms. Let's land both feet if any lifted. There's no need to have you. Know, nothing better or worse. I might have ragged off to let it go. Three breaths. Next, inhale, relongate your spine, halfway lift. Exhale, step the left foot back and fine again. That fabulously free runner stretch, no right, no wrong. Move in any way that feels great to you. Two more breaths or so. Get the kinks out. Last breath. Slow it down. Then left hand, this time for our side plank. Maybe use the block line, the, or the knife edge of the left foot up. It's all about energizing. The more jazzy our fingers and toes are, the more powerful our bodies become. So find your place. There's no right, no wrong. Just challenge yourself with a smile. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale. Breathe in confidence. Exhale, criticism. You got this one more inhale, looking so good. One more exhale. Plank pose as you breathe in. If you want, chaturanga as you breathe out. Hearts open wherever you are as we inhale. And we elevate our hips, we elevate our vibe, down dog. Let's take a clearing breath, inhale. And let it go, ha. All right, Dogtown Z-Boys flow on this side. Left toes brighten up as you inhale. We'll do the same thing. Draw the knee in as you exhale. Quietly bring the foot. Inhale your way into Warrior Two if you're a in a B. Relax the shoulders as you sparkle fingers as you exhale. Again, we'll go slow and then with breath three times. The first, so the first time is slow. We inhale, paint a picture of peace with our fingers. Lift from right heel through left arm as we lean back in Peaceful Warrior. Resting in peace and ease. And then we exhale, left toes light up, left leg straight ish as we bend into the right knee to our own degree. Mukatasana, like a little ninja of kindness. Identify the right hand. The inhale will wing it wide. Forward, we stay high for extended side angle. If that feels better in your body, honor that. If it feels great to land left hand on a block or the ground and lift the right foot and Curve the upper body cheerfully, honor that. And then exhale, right hand down, right hand goes back, down and up, left leg straightens, pose. 
All right, I said that weird. <laughs> All right, come on, shake it off, let it go. Maybe a sigh or a sound. All right, let's exhale to get started three times. Just paint bliss with your body. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Like your fingertips are calligraphy pens. Exhale, mute katasana. Inhale with a joyousness. We stay higher, go low in our side angle. Exhale, open in all directions, triangle. We keep flowing. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, mute katasana. Inhale, spread love around the body as you move to your side angle or lay back lunge. Exhale, triangle pose. Last one. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, mute katasana. Inhale with a wahoo from your soul. Lay it back. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, be happy in your warrior two. Yeah. Exhale, step to the top of the mat. Fantastic. All right, we've got one more short flow on each side standing sequence, and then we'll be on our backs. All right. So set your blocks up, hip distance apart, or shoulder distance apart again. <laughs> okay, so not much to use for the blocks this time, but you still might for the vinyasa and the down dog. Inhale, drive the hips forward, lift the heart, open to the light. As you reach up, bring light down with you with gratitude as you carve a path down to the arc forward fold as you exhale. Inhale, back of the neck, long halfway lift. Exhale, step the right foot back far. The right hand could be on a block or on the ground. And then spin the left foot a hard left turn. Lean the hips that way. It's called exalted lizard. We're going to do a little flow. We just simply lean the upper body away. Reach the left hand back. Open your heart wide. Breathing in the energy of exaltation, straighten through the left leg as you exhale and slowly swoop the left arm underneath your armpit. Two more as if you're polishing yourself on the insides. Inhale, bend the knee, open the heart. Exhale, straightish leg, left hand underneath the right armpit. One more breath in. One more breath out. Plank pose on your inhale. Chaturanga as you exhale. Hearts open, singing as you inhale. Exhale, hips high, down dog. Little warrior two sequence, no block. Inhale, right toes up. Exhale, draw the knee in. Inhale, left hand swims you up, warrior two. Exhale, relax shoulders. So this is called high flying warrior flow. So bring like, drop your brain into your fingertips, like make them soft and receptive. Flip the palms like they're taste buds. And then slow motion as you inhale, straighten through the legs, feel everything from the inside rising, shining as you lift the hands, lift the heart, lift the gaze, overhead high flying warrior. Exhale again, slow motion, rebend the knee, pump the palms down, warrior two. Really tune into the fingertips three times with breath. Inhale, feel a rising, a shining, maybe close the eyes. Exhale. Slowly back to warrior two. Two more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe as if your breath could form a halo around your brain. Exhale. Beautiful. Happy in your know it as you breathe in. And we make our way to the top of the mat as we breathe out. All right, last standing sequence. Looking fabulous. Like you're jumping. Woo, you're so excited. You're jumping for joy. Inhale, swoop the hands up. Breathe in that energy. Exhale, lengthen through the crown. Empty the breath, fold. Inhale, spine long, halfway lift. Big step of the left foot back as you exhale. Again, left hand can find the ground or a block. Hard right turn with the right foot, hips that way. Then open your heart to possibilities as you reach the right hand back as you inhale. Slow motion, polish our bodies, our breath, our, 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 our being as you straighten through the ish through leg. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Rebend the knee. Reopen the heart. Exhale. Straight ish through the leg. Right hand underneath left armpit. One more breath in. 
One more breath out. Last plank pose if you want it on your inhale. Try to round as you exhale. Hearts open as you inhale. And we exhale, press it on back, down dog. Inhale, left toes float up. Exhale, draw the knee in, set up for warrior two one last time. Right hand guides us there. Exhale, relax, shoulders tune into the fingertips. Maybe you close the eyes. Feel from the inside out, or rising or shining, or getting high on life as you lift everything up, up, up. Exhale, slow motion, rebend the knee, pump the palms down. Three more, inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. One more exhale. Inhale to be happy. Yeah, step to the top of the mat as you exhale. Bring the hands to the heart. Feel the effects. Feel the glow, the light. It's always there. It's always there. Big breath in. Hmm, fabulousness. All right, let's make our way onto our bums. And if you got the blocks on the mat, go ahead and free the blocks out to the side to get them out of the way, first of all. So now when we get there, so we'll start with a little uh, Janu Shashasana. Bring the left foot into the right thigh. Bend the right foot to start as if you're pressing the ball of the foot into a wall. Pick the hips up and squish through the sit bones. So we have a down into the ground and up like we're pressing our head into somebody's hand. And then a press through the ball like it's pressing into a wall. We keep those alignments that lengthen forward and back, up and down. Maybe right hand behind as you maybe lean forward. Maybe left hand finds a place. Maybe right hand finds a place. Just honor where you're at and keeping those things. Start to calm the body with the breath. Slowing it down. Gently make your way up. Bring the right hand to the left knee. Bring the left hand behind. They find a nice little sweet spiral up and to the left. And then bring right forearm inside the right leg, keeping that spiral, that lift and length. Bring left hand behind the skull. Just take a breath in to lean into your hand. Take a breath out. Bring left hand behind you. Wing the right hand wide behind you. And then forward, up and over as you elevate the hips. Stargazer pose. Just breathe that energy. One inhale. One exhale. And make your way down. Same thing, other side. So left foot forward. Right foot inside the thigh. Again, starting with a bent knee. Pick our hips up. Squish down. Find that engagement. Press through the ball of the left foot. Left hand could stay behind. You could stay upright. I was there for years. Perhaps it feels fabulous to lean forward with just the right hand. Perhaps with both. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Length from sit bones to crown. Breathe out. Let some tension go. One more inhale. One more exhale. Bring the left hand to the right knee, connect down through the belly button, and then from the belly button up, feel a spiral up and to the right, just a small movement, nothing dramatic. Just bring some love to our spine. And then keeping that engagement left form inside the left thigh, right hand to the back of the head, and then keeping that opening, lean into your hand and lengthen to your own degree forward, one breath in. One breath out, right hand behind, left hand wide. Open your heart as you lift your hips. 
Let's stay for one more breath in. One more breath out. Make your way down. And then we'll make our way onto our backs. Draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a big old hug and squeeze. And then spill your fingers, toes, muscles, bones. Let your to-dos, your worries, your yesterdays, your tomorrows, let it all go in Shavasana. Take as many movements or sounds as helps you to just float away on the symphony of sensations in your body. As you enjoy another couple minutes or so here, again, thought bubbles arise and such. Just find yourself back in that place as a witness, the observer, able to watch it like they're on a TV screen. And see, like, is this a, a thought that I want to hang on to or a thought I want to let go of? Is this something I want to weed or something I want to nourish? You may or may not be able to hear outside there. Uh, uh, lawn people are outside doing their lawn stuff. So it kind of plays in with the theme of gardening our thoughts, gardening our, our, our inner landscapes. Not moving, bring your awareness into the tips of the fingers. And then imagine that in the tips of the fingers and 
feel as if in the tips of the fingers or this brightness, this glow, you know, kind of ET fingers, right? It's a, it's a little physical manifestation of love, if you will, and then lovingly bring a finger or two or however many to your third eye, the spot between the eyebrows, and just feel like that was like a brightness into your mind. Like it's just implanting seeds of love and light and life. They're going to grow and flourish like you will and you are. And in whatever way it feels great to you, make your way to a comfortable seat to close our time together back to the hands on the thighs hands cupped palms receptive hearts open and take a few breaths here as if you're in a sauna of love and light it's just all around you it's all within you and you're just soaking in it being held by it Draw and slowly draw the hands to your heart, lifting the heart, bowing the brain. Loka, samasta, sukino, bhavantu, may all beings at all places at all times be joyous, free from suffering and united. May our thoughts, words, and deeds spread joy, freedom, and unity for all. Shanti, shanti, shanti. We are light, we are love, we are one. Namaste. And much love, Yogi. So it's an honor and a delight to get to practice with you and share these hits of, of, of love and bliss and wellness with you. So I hope you have an amazing day and I hope to see you soon. Bye.